What's up, folks? Welcome back. I'm your host, the Hypothetical Patriot. Everything you hear, of course, is satire. Happy Friday, happy hour, everybody. It is 1021, and if you got them, drink them. Personally, I don't drink anymore, but if I did, I'd be drinking right now, trust me. All right, everyone, let's go down the checklist of uh, the weekly events, clues, and uh, the goings-on. All right, Friday morning, Bannon was sentenced to four months in jail for contempt of Congress. This starts the arrest wars I've been talking about and I've been posting videos about, which hypothetically end with Trump being arrested. Um, Bannon, he didn't seem in bad spirits. He seems like he's got a little ace up his sleeve. He was he was smiling like a Cheshire cat, as I mentioned before. Um, I don't think he'll do more than a few days in jail if he does any. Uh, it's going to be a tit for tat, I think. <clears throat> it's going to be one of theirs, one of ours, two of ours, one of theirs. You know, it's just going to be a big distraction for what's going on. And uh, when Mr. T gets, you know, cuffed and stuffed, if he hypothetically does, which we know he will, that will trigger a bunch of stuff through the military, which hypothetically we couldn't trigger any other way. Of course, it's all hypothetical. All right. What else happened? The NIH Fauci's, Fauci's stomping grounds. Always said, uh, Fauci always said, I never did gain of function hypothetically. We never, NIH never paid for gain of function in Wuhan. We never paid for anything in Wuhan. The NIH never paid. Guess what? The NIH is now admitting they paid for gain of function in Wuhan. Started in North Carolina and trickled down to Wuhan. And it happened, uh, the funding happened during the Obama administration, which is ironic because that's when it was illegal. Hypothetically. So we have little rat boy lying in front of Congress and he's still the highest paid government official right now walking around and not in jail. So if you don't think that something else is hypothetically running this country other than uh, justice, the constitution and law, just look to Fauci. Why is he walking around? Why did he profit and why is he still profiting and why is he paid more than the president of the United States? It's a little bit weird on that one. All right. So what are they going to do to stop the midterms? We all know that they're going to not do the midterms one way or the other, hypothetically. Either they're going to have them and postpone them, say, oh, something happened or it got hacked or, you know, whatever they project. Or they're going to say this. People are intimidated and they can't go use the drop boxes. Remember yesterday I did the video on CNN doing the video where a couple felt intimidated because people were watching drop boxes. I wonder why, hypothetically, smoking mules. Anyway, um, so they're going to make this a big deal and people just, you can't vote unless you use a drop box. Well, the only reason hypothetically drop boxes were initiated and used last time was because there was a pandemic. So what's your excuse now? I don't, I don't understand it. What's your excuse to use a drop box now? That's me personally. I don't get it. Cause you can still mail in, you can do the medical thing. If you can't, you know, show up cause medical reasons, you can vote in person. So why is that essential? Also, Biden allocated a S ton of money, a shit ton of money to the uh, post office for mail in ballots. And a uh, whole new section is just going to be devoted hypothetically to, uh, to mail in ballots funded by Biden. So, what could go wrong there? Democrat totally funded Biden post office, who last time stuck up for Biden and said there was no hanky panky at all, even though hypothetically they've had people arrested through that that worked for the post office for certain selection things that we know about. Um, so they're going to do something. I think it's going to be the whole, you know, there was, there was uh, a bunch of people drinking beers and taking photos of us and intimidating us. And they didn't want us to drop off the box and they were calling us mules, a bunch of that BS. So uh, we're intimidated by MAGA. They're terrorists. MAGA are terrorists. Biden already laid the groundwork with the, you know, demon background, red, Rah, 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 fiery speech, MAGA's extremist, MAGA, MAGA. So now when they say it, it's more normal, right? They're just agreeing with the president. So that's how they stop the midterms. That and with the Trump arrest, you know, obviously MAGA's going out of control. Jill and Joe Biden said yesterday that cancer rates are going to skyrocket. No, really? But it's not because of that. It's because over the last two years, because of COVID, people have missed their cancer screenings. Are you fucking kidding me? Let me say that again. Jill and Joe Biden said cancer rates are going to skyrocket, but not because of this. Oh, no. 
It's because over the last two years, people haven't gotten their screening and checkups, which don't prevent cancer, hypothetically, by the way, anyway. Anyway, um, so that's what they're going to sell because they're panicking. Uh, cancer rates are skyrocketing. I heard on, uh, you know, deaths are skyrocketing hypothetically all over the place. And they have to have a scapegoat for it. You know, it's like the heart attacks. There's like 9 million things that cause heart attacks now that never did before. And all of a sudden, you know, I saw one article. If you eat tomatoes from new fertilizer, you could have a heart attack. Because the fertile, I mean, it's just unbelievable. So uh, that's what they're going with. Cancer rates are going to skyrocket. Jill and Joe Biden say because people missed doctor's appointments, checkup, and screenings over the last two years. Yeah, apparently cancer is allergic to screenings. Anyway. To the next subject, UN controls your Google search engine. <clears throat> I watched a video this week of the WEF, and uh, a United Nations lady higher up was being interviewed, sitting all. They all look like meerkats. They all look like they're like Fauci's the head meerkat, and they're all they're all getting mousy and pale. It's really weird. They do that stare, and then they grab their arm behind their back, like. I don't know what the hell that is, but that's just me. Anyway, um, the UN controls your Google search engine, hypothetically. When they were talking to the WEF, they were interviewing this UN lady, and she said, I Googled climate change a couple years ago, and I was just appalled to see that the top searches were not factual and conspiracy theories. So the United Nations consulted with Google and hypothetically Facebook and all these other companies, and we reeled it into what people should see. Now we're at the top of all the search engines, blah, 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 blah. So she just straight up admitted that the United Nations colluded with Google and Facebook, hypothetically, and other companies to whenever you type something into the search, the results you get are what the United Nations wants you to get. Scared yet? If you're new to the channel, hello. <laughs> There's a lot of these things that happen. This is for real. You can see the video. It's probably on the WEF website go to their website they don't hide any of this they have to tell you before they do it that's the whole thing they do it through movies and music obviously but they'll straight up just tell you if you if you watch the uh, summits this was a 2022 sustainability um, summit but she straight up said yeah we told Google and uh, other companies you know how to help and how to help their search engines so they get more factual information they're controlling what you get when you search an engine on the internet hypothetically that's what she said. She also said, and by the way, we own the science and people should know that we own the science. What have we been here? Trust the science. Fauci, if you're against me, you're against science. We own the science. Do you see where it's starting, where it's slipping to? You don't think this is cultish? Everyone that follows every single new thing with the new bumper sticker and the new whatever. And yes, yes, yes. Go, go, go. Dude, they're going to burn out. Say a prayer for them for real. All right, so uh, that's the search engine one. Then we got Ukraine has no power. Hypothetically, the entire country of Ukraine Friday right now has no power. And everyone's saying, oh, it's rolling blackouts and this and that. The whole time the media has been telling you Putin's been l losing, all you see is like hypothetical burnt out building that looks like Detroit. Four like old guys smoking cigarettes, waving a Ukraine flag. We did it. It's unreal. And every every action photo is like, a shot of a tank from 80, you know, 800 feet away that looks like it was from 1980 USSR. Uh, the footage isn't adding up for me. You know how I feel about all that, but that's me personally. But Ukraine has no power right now because Putin's been strategically bombing their electrical grid. Shocker. You know, that's what you do, right? I mean, they're in a war, but there was no reporting on that. And now there's no power. Now it's a big deal. It's like, this has been a slow crawl, people. Come on. I mean... The New World Order, the Western media, the royals, the uh, black hats, dude, they're just serving up the Ukrainian people on a platter and then telling everyone else what's going on, but the opposite, just like Japan did. We're winning the war. We're winning the war. We're winning the war. Come to find out the last day they realized, shit, we lost the war. Iraq, Saddam, all the newspapers, we're kicking the Americans' ass, kicking the Americans' ass. Until an American knocked on their door, they didn't know they lost. Same thing's happening in America right now. And Ukraine's going to be sacrificed for it. And it's really sad because hypothetically, they probably want the money to rebuild Ukraine because hypothetically, the second wealthiest, oh, the first wealthiest man in Ukraine is George Soros, the front man for the uh, 
CEOs of hypothetical BlackRock and Vanguard and all them. Anyways, all right, so Ukraine has no power, hypothetically, not 30%, not in certain zones. They have no power. All right, what else we got? <clears throat> First drag queen <clears throat> has been ordained in the Methodist Church. The Methodist Church has ordained, I'm not kidding, this is, this is insane, has ordained their first drag queen. He preaches in drag. So there's that. I, I stopped caring about all this stuff and knew what was going on with the churches when they started letting people mask up hypothetically and when churches were shut down but liquor stores and strip clubs were open I, I it's nothing surprises me anymore so we'll just go to the next one there uh the trump arrest everyone's it looms everyone's talking about it you know when's it going to be when's it going to be there's no new hot takes it's just waiting everyone's waiting it sucks but we're waiting everyone can feel it you wake up every day you look did it happen did something happen I mean, it's common. Um, you know, God sometimes, I think, wants us to realize that maybe we shouldn't ask so much for something because when it comes, it might not be everything we think. I mean, where there's pain, then there's regrowth. And we're not going to get back. We're not going to get to a republic or to any, we're anywhere where we feel like it's a safe democracy without some pain, apparently, and obviously, right? But maybe this time and i'm talking to myself too we should actually be focusing on uh, enjoying these moments because it's probably going to get pretty bumpy in the next two months and it could happen at any moment i have to keep reminding myself dude nothing happened that's you know it's not a great thing because we want something to happen and we want it to happen now right we want 45 back hypothetically we want all this straightened out hypothetically we want our country back hypothetically we want our damn families back hypothetically we want our free will back hypothetically we want to be able to speak words out of our mouth without worrying if we're going to get in trouble this is fucking america we've had it we've all had it we can all feel it we got to stay peaceful and pray. This might be the calm before the storm, and that's not just a saying. You might want to enjoy th this time because who knows what the hell they got planned, hypothetically, with their red flags and this and that. So uh, we know what the end game is, and we know that hypothetically we need the military, but we, it's going to be a bumpy storm. Buckle up, bu buttercups isn't just a saying, right? And uh, we should enjoy these last couple of days or however until stuff gets crazy because we can all feel something coming. Something's coming, right? We can just feel it. So pray and stay peaceful. Always stay peaceful. Don't back up an inch. Stay peaceful. All right. Uh, 9 p.m. Eastern time. If you can do it, how about you say a prayer for the January 6th uh, detainees? I heard that they do the uh, Pledge of Allegiance or something at 9 p.m. in jail, and they can all hear each other, and they also pray afterwards. So if you could say a prayer at 9 p.m. Eastern time, uh, be praying the same time as all the detainees. <laughs> that situation is so ridiculous and messed up. What do you do? You feel so horrible for them, but what can? You, what do we do? What can we do? There, you know. So let's. This is something we can do. 9 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, pray with the detainees. Um, being hypothetically gulagged in Washington right now, the January 6th detainees, 9 p.m., say a prayer to them, a prayer for them, uh, to, to God and to Jesus, if you can, or to whoever you pray to. Um, Trump rallies on Saturday. <clears throat> I don't like that he's doing this rally. It's in Texas. Um, I don't know. I feel like there's probably going to be a boatload of signs, clues, and signals, but I just feel like it's going to be one of those days, hypothetically, where it's a flag with no stars, like occupied territory. It's really close to the border. The cartels do not want Trump back. This is like Christmas for them, hypothetically. This is the best thing that ever happened to the cartels. It's the, Joe Biden is like the best thing that ever could happen to the cartels. I mean, dumb luck, right? How could that? But anyway... Trump coming back, Trump being in Texas. I know there's a lot of patriots. His security has been through the roof. You know, I do the breakdowns of all the rallies and tell you the clues and what he said. So I'll be doing that Saturday night. Um, but this one, I, I just wish he would stay. He canceled two of them, I think, last week. 
I just wish he would stay home on this one, but he knows a lot more than I do, obviously. It's a very small circle, so anyone that says they know what's going on, they're completely full of shit, and just unsubscribe them right now. Because as of like two weeks ago, no one's hearing anything. So uh, that's it for the happy hour. Seems a little doom and gloom, but it's really not. It's a quiet before the storm. Everyone pray. Have fun with your family. Be peaceful. You know, don't let them get you acting a fool. Don't be an idiot. And uh, enjoy this time because the storm's here. We all know it's here. Bannon just got arrested. The first arrest happened with the arrest games. Ukraine has no power. Russia's going to make a move. They're going to arrest Trump, hypothetically. All this is going to happen, and it has to happen before what, November 4th or something like that? I mean, it's the 21st, so we're running out of time to say nothing happened. I think we're going to say pretty soon here, holy shit, can you believe all this happens? Holy shit, this happened. Holy crap, this happened. Did you? Oh my gosh, this happened. Good thing about us patriots is we know it's going to happen. We're not going to be blindsided. Uh, get your supplies, get some water, get some canned goods, stuff like that, anything you need, depending on your family situation. And uh, don't be scared, just... Peaceful, pray, stand your ground uh, in what you believe in, and uh, follow the law of the Constitution. God bless America.